In this video, we're going to show you how the jet cyclonic separator works. So if you have four inch dust collection, this jet cyclonic dust separator could be right for you. So we have this Grizzly dust collector. This is the model number G0860, and it does a good job. Matter of fact, it does such a good job when it sucks stuff in from our table saw here, or when we have it hooked up to our joiner over here, or we take our hose and hook it up to the planer over here. It'll fill this up quite rapidly, as it's supposed to do because it's so powerful and not only does that it'll suck it up through the cyclone it'll jam up and it'll come in here into our fine dust collection and we'll end up with sawdust in there and then you know you've done, made a mistake when you got that far that's not what you want to do okay so after just a little bit of planing that board we're going to check our dust collector because I can see a little bit of dust on the other side and let's see what oh hell look at that thing it's full and that's the issue I have with this I, you can't ever tell I'll get my wheels turned here don't slide out there we go and so this thing is full and it doesn't take much, even though this can compress down some, there's still, the capacity is not enough. And I just don't have enough capacity in this thing. It fills up rather quickly, particularly when you get one or two guys in here working and neither of them empty the dust collector. So we don't need to empty this, but let me go around the other side and show you what happens. So over on this side, we have the clear bag and you can see we've already have sawdust in there a, a fair amount. And so it goes up in the cone over here inside the cone and then it comes in here and just drops it down in the bag. So we need a better system. So I called Grizzly and said, I got this dust collector, send me a larger bin. This 20 gallon is not big enough. That might not be a bad idea. All I'd have to do if it's a taller canister is to build a little span, jack this up a little bit and have a, a bigger canister. But lo and behold, they said, don't make one for that. You don't ha we don't have the capacity for that. And I said, well, oh shit, let's find a different way. And I said, well, all I need is a bigger barrel. So I bought a bigger barrel. This is a 47 gallon, gallon drum. Rather than trying to increase my capacity, what I'm going to do is put in a separator to separate the dust before it gets into the canister. So I'm converting this and I'm going to use the jet cyclonic separator. Let me show you. This is a jet cyclonic separator. I'll leave a link for you below. So when you buy one of these, this cyclonic separator has no moving parts. All it does is the air comes in through here with the dust attached, goes in here, and as it spins around, it'll divert the particles out the bottom, and then this outflow is into the dust collector. So you get the separator, you get a list of instructions, you get a couple gaskets, with a couple of rings to attach your hoses. So now we're going to connect it. The assembly of the separator was really quick and easy. So I cut a hole in the top of the barrel. I used the template from the gasket and basically cut it with a jigsaw. Put your gasket back down to determine the screw's location and attach those and you're ready to go. I took my nut driver and tightened these guys up rather than have you wait and do it by hand. 
So now we're ready to rock and roll. This thing looks great. There it is. One jet cyclonic separator. So I have the dust separator connected to my dust hose and I have it outfeed going into the dust collector. So now we're going to plane a board and see how well this dust separator works. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is turn on our dust collector. Later. All right, I want you to look at the spot right here that goes from the separator into here and see how much, if any, is going in there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Man almighty, that is going to be super. I never realized just one little plain little board, and this is basswood, how much dust comes into here, how much that separator takes it out so it doesn't go into the vat to the dust collector. Now we'll be able to have a nice large bin to collect our sawdust, and then the dust collector over here to collect the finer dust and anything that's missed. So I'll use it a little bit come back and give you a report. Okay, so we did some more joining and planing, and we know we have a little dust in here. So let's check this out to see what we have collected in a big barrel versus what we have in the small dust collection barrel. So we're gonna release this. <laughs> okay, so while by no means is it full, it certainly in some spots is looks to be at least six to seven inches over on the side that probably more like eight inches thick so we've collected a fair bit of dust particles in here now let's check into the dust collector see what that looks like get over here to where we can unleash now we have in here just fine dust. And you can see a lot of that is from our sander because I recognize that gray wood that I was doing sanding on. So that makes all the difference in the world. So this thing does have probably about the same depth of dust in it. Yeah, it looks to be like four inches of fine particles, hardly any of the other. So it's doing a good job. You can see this uh, Jet Cyclonic dust separator is made for four inch hoses. If you have four inch hoses in your dust collector system, this will be helpful for you to be able to separate the dust from the fine particles. So the sawdust you can collect in the big bin have the finer dust particles go into the smaller bin, and therefore you won't jam up your dust collection system with needlessly having to empty it all the time. Separators working really well is getting out all the large bits and only collecting the smaller bits into our dust collector. So I have a small channel, and I'm looking to be able to absorb some of these things and make more videos for you. So consider using the link below and buy it from the Amazon. It's going to be the same price you buy it from any of the other woodworking stores, and I'll get a buck or two out of it.